wanted to do a new video because I have a couple of minutes to spare, so um, I thought I would do one, and I just did one the other day, although this one is going to be different because I just went to Rite Aid, and you know how Rite Aid gets you all the time. I spent like 90 bucks there, and I'm just going to show you all the stuff I got um, and what products I'm going to show you because I'm excited to use them and kind of review them for you. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I think some of them I might have put away. I can't really remember. Anyway, I'll just show you what I have out. This is these two storage things. This was only like a dollar, so I thought I would pick it up because they were like really, they're really big and deep size. It says like deep, um, so yeah. And they were really big, so I can put my makeup on it. And they're also, like, just, like, the glad boxes. So they're see-through, so then when I have makeup in there, I can kind of look at it. And I put all my lip products in there because I did have my lip products in this thing, which was kind of nice because you could see them. But this takes up, like, so much room on my dresser here that this is what I kind of, like, compiled it to because it's just nicer. And I think it's just easier to see because you can see all the way around. And, yeah. So this is like all of my lip products I have at school. And I just think it's more organized, at least for me, because I can see all the way around this. I could only see like this part, just like the half front. Anyway, the next things I got were actually BB creams because I wanted to try out these certain ones. And um, I heard reviews about them. I don't really remember what the reviews said in particular, if it was bad or good. So I just thought I would try the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. And I got this in medium sheer tint. So I got this for like now, I guess. And then I got the... Um, the medium deep one for the summertime when I get more of a tan and it's perfect because they do have 30 SPF and these were like the two darkest ones because usually my skin's darker than um than what BB creams have that makes sense in the shade in the um, range and then I got two um, face masks this is the Freeman this is the peel off one and then this is the clay mask with avocado and oatmeal so my best friend's actually coming up to visit me so we're gonna try these out I always love this one I have the big version of it and this one I think I actually gave to her because I had another sample one like this size kind of thing and I didn't end up using it because I have to go through other ones and then the last BB cream that I got was this Photo Ready Revlon. And these BB creams actually retail for 10 bucks, which is kind of like foundations, I think, like normal priced foundations at drugstore. But this one has 30 SPF too, but this is by Revlon and it's the Photo Ready. So I would say that this one, I think I remember a, re a review saying that it wasn't too bad to actually have flash photos because that's what people worry about with SPF and how it leaves a white cast on your face in photos, which I got for like my first prom, my junior prom. It, um, yeah, my face looked completely like white cast and I didn't understand why because I forget what foundation I used then because I wasn't really into makeup, but that was like the one time that I did wear my foundation. So that was kind of annoying. And the next thing I picked up were these towelettes because I needed them. And these were only, with my Rite Aid discount, they were only four twenty three, which I thought is really good because they come with 30 instead of like 20 or 15. But yeah, and they're just the Rite Aid brand, which is why they're cheaper. And then I got my 20% discount. And then I got this Julie um, nail color in, and I never tried these, but I heard that they're like pretty good. This color is in OMG which is kind of funny, but it's really bright and neon, which I was going for for the summertime. And then this one is a Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, and I love these because they dry pretty quick, and I love the color and the pigmentation that they give off, and they're very opaque, so you don't have to do too many coats. But this is Coral Reef, and this actually looks more pink on camera, but it's more of a corally color, but it's still neon. It doesn't show up neon on the camera, though. And then I got two SE ones. This one I've been like spotting out the entire time for the past like two months. But I know this name by heart. Is that embarrassing? And I was looking for the Fuji one or whatever. Um, the one that's like white and pink kind of. Um, because they don't have that. And I have read her so much. I've heard so much about it from like Miss Glamorazzi. And this one is Buy Me a Cameo. And I really like this. 
Um, there's also like a penny talk one that I wanted to get too, so I'll be looking out for that one. And then this is ballet slippers, which actually came out, I think this came out a while ago in Essie's collection. I want to say like the winter or even the fall possibly, but I really like this color and I think it's perfect for all year round because it's just a pastel. And then I got one lip product, which, well, two lip products. One I'm actually giving to my friend because I forgot that I already have this one. But this is the um, Revlon lip gloss. And this is in 150 Peach Petal. And I forget who. Somebody talks about this and, like, raves about it all the time. So that's kind of what prompted me to go get it. But I have an extra one, so I'm just going to give it to her as, like, a little gift. I also have, like, other stuff that I have set for her, too, like the Nivea lip butters, which I really like. And um, I have two eye things and one more lip product. So this eye thing is the Eye Studio. Both of them are the color tattoos, and this is part of... I don't think this is part of any collection, actually. I think this is in the staple collection. And this is just this really pretty one. And it's in Tenacious or something, teal. But I think it's really pretty, especially for, like, under the eyes or anything. It would be perfect. And this one would be perfect under the eyes, too. I also saw a tutorial with this, which kind of, like, made me want to get it, too. And because I've been loving, like, mint colors... It almost like matches my nails. It's a little bit greener, I would say. And this is in Edgy Emerald in 50. I feel like Emerald is a darker green than this. Almost like that kind of color is Emerald. Those are darker greens. But this, I would definitely say, is like a mint and yeah. But I really like that. And then I just picked up some... Oh, my last lip product is this Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain. And this is in 040... Um, Rendezvous. I really don't know how to say that, so I'm going to stop trying to. And it's just this really pretty one. I think it's kind of like corally color, and this would look perfect for the spring and summertime, which is why I picked it up in that shade. And I also picked up these cotton rounds because I'm running out because I use them like no other. And I got these Simply um, paper plates because these were a dollar too, so couldn't really pass up a dollar bargain. And the last thing I got was also like a dollar. And it's just this simply, it's real white cheddar popcorn, and I love white cheddar popcorn. I just like popcorn in general. And that is all of the things I bought. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul, and um, have a great weekend. Bye!